I'm John Survivor Blake, host and curator of Slam Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. I'd like to give a shout out to Omega Studios and Omega Television. My first piece is going to be Blue. My brother had the bluest eyes, like exotic ocean, subtle in motion, no rage, no riptides, eyes like perfect skies, two windows to a soul full of blues. Benny's eyes were the deepest blue. Too bad mom despised the view, see? Benny was the product of her rape, and she, well, she made sure he always knew. Nevertheless, I was 13 when he taught me to shoot dope. It was then I saw his soul shine through him and these eyes of vibrant hue, just beautiful. Until an illness consumed him in stages. We, his kin, labeled them contagious, chased him away with malice galore until one day death chased him back to our door. With the legion of lesions that chose his pleading face to invade, I could see the sickness as soon as I lifted the shade. My brother, no longer able, but I was Cain, just staring at him through a window pane as he tried to turn his fate around on our locked doorknob and AIDS enshrouded his flesh like an angry mob when he said, John, open the door. He needed new heroin for his veins to wear. And shooting dope had always been a family affair. Couldn't we at least give him some clean clothes, a shower to wash his flesh? But we were ignorant to this illness, afraid to a mess. We called it the junkie bug back in 84. When I was a 14-year-old junkie standing at the door, staring at the most beautiful blue eyes I had ever seen, and I reluctantly recalled the relentless snowfall that painted the shameful scene the day we treated this human being like less than a human being. He said, John, Stop playing. Open the door. They said, John, don't open that door. He said, John, please, I'm sick. They said, John, don't. He's sick. I wondered if my mother wasn't in prison, would she even have let him in? I knew denying him was a sin. His lips, now the deepest blue. But what the f did I know? I was just a junkie, too, when I pulled down the shade, allowing two inches of wooden ambivalence to pervade the banging stopped as soon as I banged more dope. Amazing how an injection of oblivion made reality sting easier to cope when winter's wind kissed him like we could have. And the darkness hugged him like we should have and death accompanied him, my kin, to an abandoned car somewhere in Brooklyn where he froze because his flesh and blood back home had grown so cold. And I wonder what his blue eyes then saw, and I wonder what it was like in hell to thaw. He must have shivered for hours all alone. I've tried to tell myself that maybe it was a better place than home. So winters are hard for me. I don't make snowmen or have snowball fights. I don't feel the warmth of fireplaces at Christmas. Footprints in the snow remind me of abandoned family and the wind still sings the song of evil because I'm a murderer. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Benny, I am so, so sorry.